Uh, guys, exciting day. Really exciting day today. I have two announcements in this video. I'm gonna save it for the end of the video. My 30% clubs that stick around to the end, you guys are gonna be the ones that wanna hear it. But we're gonna go out and do some thrifting as well today, which is gonna be the majority of the video. Hopefully you're here for thrifting content because that's pretty much what we do on this channel as well as some flea market vids on a Sunday. But um, as a full-time eBay reseller, I list 10 listings on my eBay store every day. It's like clockwork. It's the only way you sell items. So right now here at the house, I've got zero. I've got absolutely nothing to list up. I don't have death piles. So I'm going to have to go out and try and find at least 10 items in the thrift and we're going to do that right now. Yep, you guys guessed it. I'm in the DVD section. There is just too much money to be made in this category. Have a look at this. We've got Lost Seasons 1 to 6. It goes between $60 to $70 on eBay, so I'm really happy to find that. I'm paying just 2 bucks a piece, so $12 isn't a bad investment. Prison Break, Seasons 1 to 4. Should get about 50 for that. Happy to pay the 8 to get my hands on it. And then Numbers. Didn't know too much about this show. There are six seasons in its entirety, and I've got four of them, so I should be able to go and get myself around about 40 bucks, but not too bad there guys three really good shows yeah so the Wii games and then I'll have a look at all that so I thought I was leaving guys I was at the checkouts and I saw in the glass cabinet a number of DVDs and video games this Manly Sea Eagles uh, this is an NRL Premiers DVD so there was actually two there there was a Heritage and a Premier so actually at 45 a piece I might be able to get about 70 bucks for those two there so that was incredible we've got Roger Ramjet as well this is a collection edition for three dollars could not say no to that i'm thinking about 30 to 40 dollars for that one there i've got one video game out of the stack none of the wii games worked for me but this sing star game definitely did should get about 15. star trek there was seasons two and three a complete entirety was actually only three seasons so i kind of regret leaving the two behind uh, i did put them back on the shelf but i did grab this though for 20 dollars, which was the twilight zone and there were some really good comps on ebay anywhere around about that $100 price point. I was missing season four though, but I was happy to take the punt and hopefully I can find it down the line. Oh, really Amazing. Heavy. I hope you won't break. It you is heavy, you no. Put your, your hand underneath That's all good. Thank you very much. See you later. What a massive start to the day, guys. So many really cool DVDs that I know are gonna go on to sell really well. TV season DVDs, I just can't stop buying them. The lady was incredibly kind in there. Uh, I priced everything up in the glass cabinet to be worth $37, and she gave me a price of 14 bucks. So a huge discount and incredibly kind of her to do that. So a big thank you to her. Um, I spent some time in the cabinet as well over there in the, in the wooden cabinet, and uh, I pulled out all those other DVDs at $2 a piece. So all up in there for everything that we've got here in that little run of media, uh, $43 was spent so incredible profits coming in that first run i think we're going to be in for a pretty good day now after that it's a good start let's keep things rolling A bit of a look in the shoe section guys and there were a few to pick from here which was really nice to see these copers are actually a decent shoe they go for about fifty dollars and i'm paying it yep just the six bucks so that was a good grab i ummed and over these pumas but to be honest i was probably never going to pick them up ten dollars just a little bit too much money they're probably only selling for about 40. this though was a very surprising find my first find in over two years of reselling all birds what a great brand this one is. Goes for about $70 and these were in excellent condition. Had no idea when I saw these and then I paid a bit more attention and I realized they're actually a very, very good shoe for you guys to be finding. Uh, also got these as well. What a find this is in the same store, the Under Armour Tactical Boots. I reckon there's a comp there for 60 bucks. I reckon I can get a bit more. I'm gonna go for about 70 or 80 on these because they were in excellent condition. And look at that guys, I'm just paying the $10. So three, really good shoes out of that store and I just paid the 22 bucks. The only reason I picked up these Allbirds is because I watch YouTubers that resell and it was one of their brands that they always found. I can't remember which channel it was. I've seen it on a few channels actually, but I've just never come across a pair in the wild myself. So to be able to use that education off the YouTube videos to find them for six bucks, I should be able to turn them into 70. That's why you guys should continue to tune into channels like this and other reselling channels because there's so much information that you can pick up for free online and it'll end up putting money in your pocket. So really cool find. Make sure you're looking for Allbirds. Thank you. 
All right, guys, let's get back into the media and have a bit of a look at this collection here, the Tudors, the complete series. Unfortunately, at $20, it was pretty much only selling for about 25 bucks on eBay, so I had to put that one away. Outnumbered series one, two, three, and the Christmas special, if you don't mind, but that one wasn't worth too much either, so I had to put that down too. Uh, Seinfeld, the complete series. I've never seen this in an op shop less than $30, which is exactly what we've got here. So uh, comps on eBay for about 50, so just no money in those. And then Geordie Shaw, the complete third, the season, which I generally like to try and pick up the latter seasons, but that one, unfortunately, just the $10. So no real value in that either. I found these, which was a bit of a novelty, a bit outside of the box of what I would normally look for, but these are actually bath toys. Now, they're $4 a piece, a bit of a collection here of all the Disney characters. I don't know, I reckon I could have maybe picked this one up and sold it as a bit of a bundle, but look, it's not in my wheelhouse, it's not how I play my game, so therefore I stirred away from that one, but I think a lot of you might have picked that up. Uh, Element California, just like the retro look on that one, um, a genuine Element product, an $8 price point though for a hat. It's just a little bit too steep for mine. It's a cool hat, but um, I can generally pick them up for around five bucks, so I left that one behind as well. So a few passes, but there were a couple of pickups. These ones here were a really good find. Uh, these are the Levi, the, the bold skinnies. Um, so the bold uh, curved skinnies, I should say. $6 price point, size 32 waist. Really good pair of women's jeans. I should be able to go upwards of $40 for that one there. And fast becoming one of my favorite jeans to be selling is the brand new. Uh, there it is there, N-E-U-W, an $8 price point. Speak about it quite a bit on this channel. These are the Iggy skinnies. And uh, I should be able to get about $50 for these ones here. A really good size, 34, 32 there as well. So some pretty cheap jeans, $14 in on the jeans, and both of them should add up to about $90 worth of estimated resale value. Denim is a really good category to be selling. A lot of people out there looking for it, which is the kind of people that I'm looking for. Well guys, that's been a really successful morning. It's only taken an hour and a half and I've been able to get 13 items for my eBay store and uh, we've only spent $79 today as well. So $6 average purchase price. Um, I think the estimated resale value is about $400 in that mix. You take out fees, post, cost of goods, there's a few hundred dollars worth of profit there, no doubt about it. Um, I'll be putting all that up the, uh, this afternoon as well. No death poles in the way that I do things. So looking forward to getting them sold over the next few days. Um, I'm gonna shoot off now to uh, have some lunch. I'm catching up with Jackson and Amanda, Oz Treasure Hunters, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, really cool couple. Um, done videos with them in the past. Hopefully you're watching their YouTube channel. We've got some really big plans with those guys coming up in the next couple of weeks, which I will share with you in this video today. I'm just gonna finalize what that exactly looks like first over some lunch. So we'll shoot off there now and uh, try and get these plans in place. You're still ordering. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think they're gonna be pretty excited about it. I think it's gonna be good. No, I don't know, we'll see how many turn up. I reckon there could be a few. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Good to be home. Had a pretty successful lunch with Jackson and Amanda. Some really exciting news. We've been able to secure a trip to Melbourne. A bit of a reseller meetup trip is what we're planning. We're gonna be at the local tap house in St Kilda on Saturday, August 6th from 6 p.m. If you're able to attend that event, if you wanna come along, a very relaxed setting, just grab a beer, say hello, uh, talk reselling, which we don't get to do enough of between us. Um, let me know in the comments and, uh, and drop it down into my Instagram DM as well with your RSVP. Let me know how many people can attend. Uh, we're also gonna be doing flea markets. We're gonna be doing garage sales and we would really like to line up a private pick or two uh, if it's available. If any of you guys in the Melbourne area have some stock, um, we're more than willing to, to come and have a look and have a bit of a pick and, and buy some items off you if that's something that you're willing to do. We'd love to make a video about it as well. But um, really exciting. Can't wait to get down there. Just a different environment. Link up with a few of you guys if you're able to attend. Hopefully you are. Uh, let me know on Instagram if you can make it. Now guys, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram and YouTube about how I prepare my shoes for listings. And uh, I've got a perfect example here of these Adidas Copas that we've just picked up. I probably need to put them in the washing machine and just get them looking a little bit nicer. I use this guy here, first of all, this Star, uh, Sard Stain Remover. Um, so I just give them a quick blast, a couple of sprays, and then I go ahead and put them into the washing machine with some washing powder and I put it on a low temperature and a low spin. That's the really crucial step if you're gonna give these shoes a rinse in the washing machine uh, because the glue, the older shoes, the glue can split apart and the midsoles can fall off. 
Um, so you just don't, you want to avoid that basically. You don't want to ruin a nice shoe that you've just bought. So if you keep the temperature down and the spin rate down, uh, they're gonna go on to just simply just clean off all of the excess dirt and make it a little bit more presentable for photos. So it'll last about 18 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes for a quick spin, depending on your washing machine settings. Um, but that's pretty much what I do whenever I get back from a thrift before I go ahead and list up the item. All right, so while those shoes go and get cleaned up, um, I've got another announcement. The second announcement of this video, guys, and it's actually for the 30% club members, the guys that stick around to the end of the video. If that's you here watching right now for the first time, welcome to the club. Now, for two years, I've been doing these videos to try and reward and recognize the guys that do watch to the end. And it might be like a thrift store item that I say for the end and say, hey guys, how cool is this? Thanks for being at the end. Um, but there was no collective community space that I could kind of speak to you guys directly in. And that's why I've come up with what is now a channel membership for the 30% Club members. If you're wanting to join this community, you're gonna get some really good benefits. And the first benefit is gonna be 20% discount on my eBay store. I've set up a special coupon code for the 30% Club members to be able to jump on, see an item that they want and get that discount. The other one as well is I'm gonna be making exclusive content just for you guys. And basically that will be either a dedicated video that I edit up and do just like I normally would on my channel, or it could even be a live stream that I do to do a one-on-one -on -one sort of Q and A with you guys, uh, or even some interviews that I wanna do with big resellers out there globally, uh, and then put out just for the 30% Club members as well. Now, there is a payment part of this uh, channel membership, which is what YouTube provides. And I've gone with a four nine fee. That is every single month, $4.99. You can cancel at any time. You can join at any time. I'm just wanting to announce it for the first time because I've only just created the group. And uh, hopefully you can join it. You can be a part of it. You can enjoy the benefits of it. And ultimately, you're also just simply going to be supporting my channel and the growth of my YouTube videos and, and the funding of this channel. So uh, a huge thank you to anyone that wants to be a part of it. If you don't want to and you just enjoy the content, I'm still going to publish my normal videos every single week. But um, I thought I would announce it because it's a bit of an announcement video today with the Melbourne trip as well. Um, if you missed a really, really cool flea market run, I want to provide you with that content here right now. So go and check it out. It is right there. Um, thanks for being a part of it, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.